One, uh, I want to talk to us today on the right mentality. All right, now for us to be able to move forward in life, in both in our businesses and in establishments where we work, we must develop the right mentality. Now the Bible said, be not conformed to this world, it will be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Alright, so when the mind is renewed, when the mind is changed, when the mentality is reconstructed, people will live a better life. Now, every time that God wants to bless somebody, the first thing that God does is to begin to work on your mindset. Now, before God could bless Abraham, the first thing God did was to call him out and say, you come count the stars of the sky. Abraham counted the stars of the sky and God said, now go to the seashore and count the, the, the sand and the seashore. And Abraham counted the sand and the seashore and God said to him, as uncountable as the stars in the sky and as uncountable as the sand and the seashore, so shall your children be uncountable. And what was God trying to do? God was trying to paint Abraham a better picture of the future that he wants for him. All right, in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the Bible said, I know the thought I have towards you, the thought of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Other translation says to give you a hope and a future. All right, now before we can be able to dive into the blessings that God has in store for us, First of all, change our mindset. Now, how do we change our mindset? We need to take the scripture of what God wants for us and replace it with our negative thoughts. That every man and woman that comes into this world comes with their damnic nature, and we are prone and vulnerable to the negativities of this world. But for us to move to the next level that God has designed for us, we need to begin to change this negative mindset to the right one. The Bible said that the the 12 spies, it is a 10 of them came and said, we be not able to go up and take over the, the, the country. But God said to them, go and take over. But they said, we are not able because he said, in our eyes, we are like grasshoppers before them. But Joshua and Caleb said, we are well able. Now what it means is that people fear not because the situation was impossible, but people fail because their minds were impossible. People fail because they, they, they were conquered already in their minds. So people who get conquered in life were first of all conquered in their mindset. That is why the battles, the, the, the weapons of our warfare, we are designed to conquer battles in our mindset. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations. Now, what is stronghold? A stronghold is the reason that you give for not moving forward. Now, when the 10 spies came, they said, we be not able to go and possess the land. And that excuse that they gave became the stronghold that prevented them from going to take the land. And God said, because you brought an evil report, he said, you and your children will never see the promised land. He said, but Joshua and Caleb have a different spirit. Now, when we talk about the different spirit, we are talking about a renewed mentality, a renewed mindset. So everywhere you are, you delete impossibility from your mindset. Believe that it is possible, Jesus said, with men, these things are impossible. He said, but with God, it is possible. Maybe said, how can this thing be? Seeing that I know not a man, but the angel said to her, the spirit of the most high shall overshadow thee. Now that thing that is impossible with men when the spirit of the most high overshadows men, it becomes possible. Now the angel needed Mary to remove her mind from the help of man. It's a sin that I know not a man, but he said the spirit of the most high shall overshadow thee. So when for us to move forward in our establishment, in our lives, we need to get rid of negative mentality. We need to get rid of the grasshoppers mentality. So today, as you step into your business, as you step into your office, as you step into the organization you work, but in your life attitude, ladies and gentlemen, delete every impossibility mentality from your mindset. Believe that all things are possible and it shall be sold for you. So I dare you to go out there today and be a success. 
God there today and prosper. And I remain yours sincerely, so keep Benjamin, I'll be here to hear your testimony when the spring falls. Hallelujah, somebody. <laughs>